What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a very special episode. We have two huge announcements. One being our new fleet vehicle. Uh, it's gonna be the vehicle that we're gonna be using from now on to do uh, certain jobs, haul our tools, that way we can have more jobs and more videos for you guys to be able to, you know, follow us with. Um, but before that, I wanna announce our merch drop which will start today at 3 p.m um the link will be down below for our social medias where you can see the designs and all that stuff but here's a little sneak peek on how they look all right guys so this is the first design it's the original design the logo from our company and uh and this one is a uh, dry fit but you can also get it in cotton and in a hoodie if you want you know with the same logo all right, so this is our second design. It's a little bit, you know, different design. You know, the speakers, the wrench, the little turbo, a little bit of everything we do. And uh, I really like how the letters came out. And this one's also dry fit, but you get them in all the other types of uh, fabric. I really like the dry fit because I work on the cars all day and it's sweaty, so it, it keeps me dry and uh, cool. And this one, it's more like a little retro look, you know, the LEDs or light bulbs, speaker, turbo, wrench, same concept, different design, and uh, very simple. I like this one, very low retro look to it. All right, guys, aside from the original logo, this has to be my favorite one, hands down. It's very simple, but in your face, and you know, I, I really love how the letters came out. Uh, Again, the little gear with the mechanic hand with a wrench. And uh, like I said, all of them, all four designs, you could get them with either cotton t-shirt, a dry fit, or you could get a cotton hoodie, which is a uh, no zipper hoodie. And uh, that'll be ready for pre-orders. All right, so enough about that. Let's get to what you guys want to see, which is our new flea vehicle. guys well here it is our 2012 Ford Transit Connect yes I know it might be a little ugly it's a little small but it's a new beginning for you know VIPD customs and, you know it's gonna help us instead of ragging, dragging all our tools in our in our shop Toyota Camry uh, we could haul it in this and the tools the car doesn't get damaged and um, it's, it's it's pretty good condition Little bumps and scratches here and there. A little dent here. Not a big deal, you know, it's gonna be a workhorse, so. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned for it. I already put new tires on. I ordered the new brakes. So I'll be showing you guys how to do the brakes on these and this is gonna be interesting because it's drum brakes in the rear. Um, I already, uh, I'm gonna do a very deep cleaning in the cabin since I have no idea the previous life of this vehicle and um, I restarted I changed out the wire partition that I had there and I put this big metal one uh, I think about putting the big toolbox right here I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet I might use it might not use it but the very next episode we're gonna do is we're gonna actually Raptor line uh, What's it called? Rhino line the floor. Um, yeah, because all this is painted. It's the original color of the actual van. But with the tools passing by and all that, it's going to scratch it up. So I'm going to rhino line it, you know, the bed liner, liner, whatever, to be able to make it, you know, easier to put all these tools and not damage the van more than what it's going to get damaged for. I'm gonna take this off, paint it black, take off all the rust. Little stuff here and there, but it's a good buy. It's a good buy. It has 116,000 miles, so it's a uh, pretty decent. I really, really happy. It even has no backup camera. Pretty nifty. And uh, inside, everything's pretty good. 
I haven't had one of these in so long. A little manual crank window. Um, yeah, inside is pretty, pretty clean. Some of the things have little stains on them, which we're gonna have a, a video just to take everything off and actually uh, clean the carpets really good, cleaning the seats really good. And um, I'm gonna take all this panel off, you know, make it all nice and prettier. Again, it's a workhorse, but you know, I wanna make it nice. It's pretty cool overhead storage. But um, we're gonna put an inverter going from here to the back and um yeah it's i'm pretty happy with the purchase um, again minor stuff but it is a workhorse so it is gonna get more damaged i'm already thinking of uh putting leds all around for better visibility the front headlights uh i had to change the tail lights because me not owning a van before just opened the van and smacked it <laughs> So I gotta replace this. I'll show you guys how to do that also. But overall, I'm missing a third brake light. <laughs> overall, really, really happy. So some of you might think, oh, it's just an old, ugly little van. To me, it's a big deal because I started about two years ago as a part, not part time, like a little, you know, side gig, you know, doing one customer, two customers' cars every month or so and then now almost every week i have a client that i have to do a job for and this is a big deal since um it's another vehicle you know that i could uh, maintain and handle but also um it shows that um, my company the company is growing you know and eventually i might have to hire somebody to work with me because it's a lot a lot of work and i also do work a full-time job which i'm currently at but um it's hard but i'm very proud of myself of what i've gone gone through and how far i made it this shows what's you know what's up you know and uh i just feel this is the first one and i want to have three more you know eventually have a shop you know to be able to do all this and uh even grow my business even more but once again it couldn't happen without all you guys support all my clients all my subscribers all my uh, followers on, Insta on instagram and Irvindy. all my subscribers on uh, youtube social media and uh, once again i can't thank you guys enough and please comment like and subscribe you know help us out you know what you want to see in the future what can we do to make your the content better for you guys and uh, don't forget down below is going to be the link to our social media that our drop is going to start as soon as this video goes live we're going to have our um merch drop you know we have four different designs on a cotton t-shirt dry fits those are my favorite and uh we're going to introduce the hoodies also since you know it's i'm in miami but it's a little sh chilly here you know now with uh you know, it's 62 degrees, and for me it's chilly, but we're introducing those uh, hoodies also. So, again, go down below, social media, and pick yours up. Thank you, once again, for everything you guys do. And uh, support my channel and the company. And on to the next one.